This is Saving the Gingerbread House by Lois Wickstrom, brought to you by Itsy Bitsy Books Bits. Sunlight dappled the forest floor and leaves crunched underfoot. Hansel swung his picnic basket and asked, why do you always leave a trail of breadcrumbs? Dad grinned, so the animals can lead us home. Greta followed, sketching in her journal. So far, she'd spotted three cardinals, two ruffled grouse, four orioles, and a hawk. She noticed a few woodland animals also nibbling on the crumbs. Tell us about the witch, Hansel begged. Tad chuckled. When I was at the well this morning, I heard she's entered the prettiest house contest. I didn't know a witch could have a pretty house, said Gretel. What's she like? I've never met her, said Dad, but I've heard she has a cauldron where she makes potions. She kidnaps children and makes them work for her, and maybe she eats them. So no matter how pretty her house is, stay away. When they reached an especially sunny spot, Hansel said, let's have our picnic here. Are we near the witch's house? asked Gretel. I hope not, said Dad. Tapping sounds echoed through the forest. It sounds like someone is nailing something, said Hansel. Could be a bird, said Gretel. Or a really bad drummer, said Dad. Hansel and Gretel ran toward the sound. Dad called, watch out for the witch. The children kept running toward the noise. The tapping got louder and louder. We have to hurry, said Gretel. I want to see that bird before it flies away. What if it's not a bird? What if it's the witch, asked Hansel. Gretel spied a woodpecker pecking at a tree trunk. There's our noisemaker. I've got to draw that wonderful crest, she whispered. She sat down to sketch him. Hansel said, be quick, dad's going to worry. When she finished her sketch, Gretel asked, which way is our picnic spot? I don't know. Nothing looks familiar, said Hansel. We should have paid more attention to landmarks, said Gretel. Dad always attracts animals with breadcrumbs, said Gretel. Maybe if we can spot some animals, they will lead us back to Dad. Hansel pointed. I see birds circling over there. I don't think that's the right direction, said Gretel. If it's not, we'll come back here and try it again, said Hansel. And they followed the birds. Gretel took a deep breath. The air smells like someone is making gingerbread. They kept walking toward the delicious aroma. Birds flew overhead, squirrels and rabbits scooted past them. Ahead they spied what was attracting the animals. Wow, that house should win the prettiest house contest, said Hansel. If it doesn't get eaten first. Do you think this could be the witch's house? Asked Hansel. This can't be a witch's house, said Gretel. The animals aren't afraid. Hansel and Gretel helped themselves to the warm gingerbread. The door of the house opened. An angry old woman stepped out. Don't you know better than to eat people's houses? She demanded. We're not the only ones, said Gretel. Birds and squirrels and rabbits are eating more than we are. That's true, said the old woman, but they can't help make new bricks. You can. The judges for the contest will be here this evening, and I want my house to win. Do you think she's a witch? whispered Hansel. She looks angry, not scary, said Gretel. Stop dilly-dallying, said the old woman. Follow me to the kitchen. Get to work. The kitchen smelled of spices and sorrel soup. The old woman stirred up a new batch of icing and set Gretel to mixing dough and Hansel to rolling it out. Hansel said, we need to stop the animals from eating it before we put in new gingerbread bricks. Gretel said, I think I know a way to get the animals away from your house. I'll do what dad does. She added a spoonful of yeast to her bowl of flour and water and began kneading bread. Hansel cleared his throat. <clears throat> Excuse me, ma'am. Our dad will be worried about us. We do need to get home. The old woman said, you can't leave until my house is fixed. You have to let me out so I can lead the animals away, said Gretel. The old woman nodded. Gretel sprinkled crumbs along the path. She walked toward the spot where she thought they'd had their picnic. She stopped to sketch bushes and trees so she wouldn't get lost. But when the loaf was gone, the picnic spot still wasn't in sight. She returned to the old woman's house and whispered to Hansel, 
I don't know how to get home. We are lost, Hansel said. Try going in a different direction. Gretel grabbed another loaf of bread. Again, she crumbled it as she walked. The animals followed her. She sketched every fork in the path to put the image into her memory, but she didn't find her home. When she returned, even more animals had arrived. Judges will be here in an hour, shrieked the old woman. Get those animals away from my house. Gretel picked up another loaf and headed out on a totally different path. Soon she came to their picnic spot. Her father's voice called from nearby, Hansel, Gretel. She ran to him and they hugged each other. And when they let go, dad looked around and asked, where's Hansel? Gretel led her dad back to the gingerbread house. All the missing bricks had been replaced. The nibbles were covered with icing. It looked and smelled good enough to eat. As Gretel and her dad arrived, one of the judges placed a big blue ribbon on the old woman's door. First prize, said the judge. The old woman said, I couldn't have done it without the help of these children. The judges handed Hansel and Gretel each a blue ribbon. The birds, rabbits, squirrels, and lynx that had followed dad's breadcrumbs set to eating in earnest. Soon, not a crumb was left. Dad asked, do you think that old woman was the witch?